Welcome back friends to the shop. Today I was gonna get started on the upper double barrel wood stove, the heat exchanger portion of it, but we have a need. We have a brother in need. We have my neighbor, Jeff, who has got a huge fabricating project and he's working on the ground and he doesn't have a proper bench. I'm gonna put this on hold for a couple days. We are gonna build him the ultimate, we're gonna surprise him with it, the ultimate fabrication bench. When you're building a fabricating bench, there's a couple things that you just gotta have. First, it's gotta be strong and all steel. Looks like the mountain's out today with a fresh coat of snow. When I had my Jeep parts business, I had a lot of inventory and shelving and such, and some of this is a residual uh, that I bought on Craigslist. So when I built my fabricating bench, I wanted it to be last for a lifetime, and this is what I used. This is gonna be the foundation of Jeff's bench. These pallet racks are very strong, thick, heavy metal, and they have nice mounting plates there on the feet so you can lag them to the floor. We're gonna build this the exact way that I built mine. So what you have here, is um, uh, these heavy duty crossbars, which I have several of those, and you get the addition of an adjustable shelf on the back, which is really handy for grinders and different things you'll use on your bench. One of the most important portions, of course, is the top, and we're gonna go with a quarter inch steel uh, plate right there. We'll also weld some angle irons there, uh, right wherever his posts fall, uh, so that we can lag that into the post and that it won't be moving around. So anchored on the ground, anchored on the wall, makes for a very strong bench. Today we'll start, by narrowing down these cross members. These are at three feet, that's too wide. These need to be 22 inches. This is a roll lock tool. This is handy for grinding paint off when you're welding and fabricating to get a, a good positive ground. Your plasma torch does have consumables. You see, I'll replace these copper little electrode every once in a while. And then there's also this cup so you put the cap on, there's a copper cup right there that fits into this ceramic deal, and that's it. No exotic gases or anything, it just runs off of electricity and compressed air. I squared up one side of the cross braces, we can measure uh, how long they need to be now. So we're looking for 24, excuse me, 22 to the outside here. These are actually really easy to work with because you've got so much, uh, well, as someone said in the last comments, wiggle room, because these cross braces can be, can, they can land anywhere inside here. They're only welded on the outside. So we can just come in about an inch or so, give ourselves a mark here. That's where we're going to cut. We can cut these both the same.
you guys enjoy this sort of video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up. We appreciate that. It helps us to uh, get found on the, on the website. Well, guys, that's one of two. I don't want to bore you with making two in a row here. I'll make that one off camera, but it'll be a mirror image of this. So tomorrow we'll put the, the top on it and the cross braces and we'll get it all finished up. I got a local steel yard that uh, brought a piece of four by eight quarter inch plate in and they have a plasma table and they cut it in half for me. So we'll be able to put that on there and that'll make a good bench uh, for Jeff to do all of his fabricating work. What he's doing over there, I'll tell you, is, is God's work. He is, he's basic... Uh, if you don't know the story, he, he quit a very lucrative job, um, ma making a good living uh, to pursue this dream. And this dream is to, is to build a completely, basically a Garden of Eden in a, in a, in a confined area where it's completely um, self-sustaining. No inputs to be able to feed uh, folks all over the world. He's got investors, um, some big money investors that have invested speculating on, on what he's doing and, and believe in him. Mrs. W and I uh, have invested uh, in the company as well because uh, we believe in what he's doing. So I can't tell you what a, um, what a load that he is carrying over there. And, and I know it's self-imposed. I'm not making excuses here, but he is, uh, I could just tell yesterday that he's, he, he, he could use some help, right? And so um, it's a small thing that I can do. I mean, I've got to do my own thing too. I wish I could go over there more, but at least we could, you know, get him a good bench and get him going. I'm happy to do all this. I have, uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to do it, but I'm just asking if you, any one of you guys out there has a good vice um, or you work for a company that produces something good like Snap-on or Mac or, or Wilton, uh, or you want to, um, join with me in this and, and so that we could set him up with a really nice workbench and a, and a professional vice. Because I'll tell you, the one that he's got over there, it's missing some parts and I just don't know how, how good it is. So uh, if you're able to do that or feel inspired to do that, uh, contact me. I'll put my email down in the subject heading and um, it would be really nice. And don't tell him. I'm going to actually email him before we, uh, before I go back or when I go back in and tell him not to watch any of my videos. <laughs> so I want to surprise him. But what I would like to do is if we could get the bench all built, all welded together, we'll p pick it up with the forklift because it's going to be heavy and um, put it on the trailer, take it over there to him and surprise him. But wouldn't it be nice if we could have it all done and, and painted real nice and, uh, and a brand new professional grade vice on there? Um, I'd love to be able to do something like that. So if you have the means or you have know someone that can give us a deal on it, I don't even mind paying for it, uh, but if we could get a good deal, that would be helpful because a good vice is not, um, it's not a cheap, cheap item um, to be sure. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep my family in your prayers and we'll see you guys on the next video.